Hey y'all, hey, Mint here, and I'm doing my What I Eat Wednesday. I thought I'd mix it up and film it on a weekend day, so it's actually Sunday today. I'm in my pumpkin spice pajamas, which I will link to below. They're ridiculous and absolutely essential. So I am going to pour myself some coffee. I have a bunch of stuff to do. The cat needs more water. I need to empty the dishwasher and reload it. Like, look at all that. Whew. And uh, yeah, I've only got a little bit of coffee left, but I'm going to have this. And if I feel the need to have more coffee, I'll just make more coffee. Um, I'm probably not going to heat it up because I'm feeling lazy. I think I'm going to go with my Salem mug today. I have all my fall themed mugs hanging on my mug holder right now. So it's all fall and fun. And then I have a bunch of filler because I don't have enough fall themed mugs. So I'm going to pour my coffee. Yeah, that's just barely enough for a cup. <laughs> and then let me grab my soy milk and my creamer. Oh, actually, I just got this yesterday. I want to try this instead. Um, I found this at the grocery store yesterday. It is almond milk with just a hint of pumpkin spice. So I'm hoping that that's way less sweet than the Silk Pumpkin Spice Creamer because that is just, oh. I have to really water that one down. I really like the Khalifa Farms one, but I can't find it anywhere yet. So yeah. So let me stick that lid on, give a shake. And a taste test. Oh yeah, that's way more on my speed. It's almost not sweet at all. It's fantastic. So, if you can find this, definitely recommend this. If you cannot do sweet creamer, um, get this instead. Really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink my coffee and empty the dishwasher and reload it and, um, Probably chill out on the deck because it's nice and crisp out today. It's gonna be really nice. Might need a blanket. So I finally got all of my housework done. I had other things I forgot I needed to do. We had a new faucet installed yesterday. And so I had to put back all the stuff that lives under the sink. Fun stuff, riveting content here. So finally sitting outside and it's gorgeous. It is a little chilly brought a blanket but it is so beautiful I'm gonna have to show you guys the sky there's literally not a cloud in the sky look at this the trees are beautiful and the sunshine the clouds are not to be found it is just so pretty oh. and then the neighbor's dogs bark those dogs bark incessantly to the point where it's a little bit rude and unneighborly, but that is a topic for another day. Look how big that wonderful tree is. Oh, it is gorgeous out. So I'm just gonna sit out here, finish my coffee. I hate that I, I like to hold my coffee with my left hand, but the the little print decal, whatever, it's on the side. This is the coolest mug. My friend got me this in Salem when she went to visit, and I love this mug so much. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy the peace and quiet aside from the barking dogs. Maybe do a meditation or something. Oh, it's so nice out. Does anyone else just love these quiet mornings? They're so nice. <laughs> so I'm making myself some food. It got The day kind of got away from me. <laughs> it's like 1.30 now. I'm just... I'm attempting toasting up my bagel in the pan, just kind of out of curiosity to see how it turns out. And then I made some just egg. I did some onion in there and a red jalapeno, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, pepper, what else did I put in there? Paprika, parsley, and just a little bit of kalanamak. I'm going to put a little bit of cream cheese on my bagel and a smidge of hot sauce. 
and that's gonna be it. I'll come back when it's all assembled to show you guys. So here's my little bagel sandwich, all assembled. Let's see if I can carefully pull this to be a side view. Looks so good. So I'm gonna sit down and relax for a second and eat this. Austin is on the phone in the house, so I just came outside real quick to let you guys know I'm eating a pumpkin spice chocolate chip muffin that I made last night. I'm gonna link to the recipe below because it's fantastic. It's a really good recipe. So I'm gonna have one of these and probably do some more crap around the house. Hey, hey, what time is it? Let's see, let me look at my iPad. It's 6.22, I am making buffalo cauliflower wings for dinner. I'm using the hot for food recipe, so I'll link to that down below. And then I'm also using her recipe for ranch, except I usually use avocado instead of being mayonnaise. And I only had one ripe avocado, so I just added a little vegan mayonnaise to make it come to like a full cup. And then I also add garlic powder into her vegan ranch recipe. It's all on the same post, so I will just leave that one link down below. So let me show you what my ranch looks like. So here is what it looks like when you add the avocado. I did not do fresh dill or fresh parsley. I used dry, but I did use fresh chives. But yeah, it's really good. I tend to like it better when it is using the avocado than just straight um, vegan mayonnaise. And then also, Got my wings in their first iteration in the oven going. They've got another 13 minutes. And then I have to add a little bit of butter to my buffalo sauce and yeah. Oh, it just got real white. And then they will be ready to go. So I will bring you guys back in when those are finished. They're gonna be I haven't made them this way in a long time. I've been making them a really lazy way with panko breadcrumbs in the air fryer. I might have showed that in a what I eat in a day video. I don't remember, but I'm excited because they're going to be delicious. Here's my finished product. Looks amazing. And my dip. I'm going to just dip those in there. I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. If you have not tried this recipe, I highly recommend it. It is the best one out there. So I definitely did not end my video last night. So it's the next day. Uh, we're gonna ignore the little pimple I picked at. And <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And um, if you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, check out amandaphenomenon.com for weekly blog posts, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!